IK Multimedia Moto Bass 2 CS is the free version of the plugin, and with this you get one free bass guitar, and it's a 60s P bass, plus you get a couple of amps and some stomp boxes, so I thought I would check out this free version of Moto Bass 2 CS to see what it's all about. So that was just a few of the patterns that come with the free version of Moto Bass 2 CS. Now let's look at some of the screens here and see what this is all about. So this is the main screen that you land on when you first open up the plugin. And you can see up here, there's some other bases, but because we're only focusing on the free version, we only have the 60s P base available to us. You can buy these other ones individually or upgrade to one of the other versions where you'll get some more of these bases. And you can switch between this keyboard view or the fretboard view. And when I'm programming the MIDI, I like to be on the keyboard view. So I'm just going to leave it there. You also have velocity settings over here. You can change the BPM. It does match whatever it's set to in your DAW. And then right here, you can access some of the patterns that you get with it. Another thing you'll notice is that these orange keys over here are like operators. If you use the black keys, you can change where you're picking. So you can see it shows you where you're going to be picking when you use some of these. And then there's some preset things in there like harmonics and that changes the sound a bit. Now let's look at the play style tab. And then in here, you can change it from slap, pick, finger style, whatever way you want. So you can hear there's a difference with how it's being played. You can also add some muting to it. That's pretty cool right there. You can change the stroke so it's alternating up, down, always down stroke or always up stroke let it ring out. So if you have this on, when I press the key and I let go, you can hear it rings out. Now, if I turn that off, you can see when I let go of the key, it no longer rings out. You could have open strings available and the detach noise when your fingers lifting and slide noise, that sort of thing you can adjust in here as well. Now let's look at the string settings. And with the free version, you can only have a fretted bass. You can change how many strings you have though. So you can have four, five, or six, and you can also have drop tuning on. You can change the action of the guitar. So it could be high action, low, or standard. And what type of string you want. Do you want it to be round wound or flat wound? And then you have the gauge, which can be medium, heavy, or light. And do you want the strings to be broken in, old or new sounding? We'll look at the electronics now. And because this is the free version, we only have the one pickup set available to us right here. You can adjust the volume of each of these pickups if you want. You can make it a passive circuit, which it is now, or active. And then we go over to studio, and this is where you can change the amp. So by default, it's on our solid state. We can change it over to tube right there. And this does change the sound. And then you can see we have some pedals down here. If we click on one, you can see this is a compressor, but we can change that to be whatever we want. We can change it to a distortion. You can turn them on and off and you can change whatever ones you have four different spots available on your pedal board so you can mix them up however you like. And then we have patterns here and with the free version, you don't get too many patterns, but you have a few. Maybe you can get inspired by some of these and you can easily drag and drop them into your timeline of your DAW if you want to use one. Or maybe you'll just want to use it as a starting point and you can change it up later if you want but you can also access those from down here. And then we can press the play.
And then over here you have control, which allows you to change some of the control values. If you're using like a MIDI keyboard, something like that, you can do that in here. Now let's just look at some of the presets that are available to you because these can change up the sound of this bass guitar pretty nice. So we'll go to legacy and we'll just go to the finger picking here. We'll try this Leland softy. So despite only getting one bass guitar with the free version of Moto Bass 2, you can have lots of variety of sound from within the plugin. Of course, you can add other effects outside of the plugin to change things up even more. And after quite a few years of using free bass guitar VST plugins, I can say this is the king of free bass guitar plugins. Now check out the king of free drum plugins by clicking the video on the screen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating and we'll talk soon.